and he's pushed up field for the easy completion. Kept off play action, gets hit, the ball floats in the air, Lazard catches up to it though. Pulled in at the 17-yard line for 22 yards. Second and 10. Kemp with time, into the end zone, caught, touchdown, Matthew Eaton, and the clone strike first. Big hole for Hicks on second and nine, beautiful moves, getting the first down. We talked about his importance, and you saw it on that play. Beautiful jump cuts, and it's a gain of 23. On second and seven, here's Kemp to the air, going to take another shot at Tejada. It's caught inside the 10, Lazard, first and goal, Iowa State. Third and goal from inside the five-yard line. Kemp, end zone, and it's caught by Butler. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown, Cyclone. The big guy said, give it to me again. I'll come through. DCU will get the ball first here in the third quarter. Kevante Turpin from the six-yard line. He's been quiet so far in this one, but here he goes. Turpin at the 40. Foot race is on, and it's no contest. Turpin all the way. Touchdown, TCU. A 90-yard punt return for a score last week. This is a kick return, 95 yards. Who's lined up at number three in the slot. And there it is. Instead, it's a pick intercepted on the one-yard line by Peavy, who's taking it back. He's got help from teammates. Kenny Hill to beat. Peavy tracked down from behind by Turpin at the 30-yard line. And the Clones have momentum back. Hill going to throw in trouble, hit, and sack back at the 11. He fumbled the ball. Recovered by Iowa State. It's out. He's on top of an Iowa State player. Willie Harvey knocks it free, along with Jaquan Bailey, who had Hill wrapped up. What a mistake. Hill on second and ten. 